We continue to honor. Of 40 days and 40 nights. In preparation for Easter, and we find ourselves on this Saturday after Ash Wednesday ready for our fasting, ready for our abstinence, ready for our serious mortification, and ready also for Thanksgiving. In the Bible today, we have been given the right motivation. What happens when we embrace penance? When we embrace the fast and abstinence? On Fridays of Lent, as required by the church, there is what we call the standard fast and abstinence that the church required of us on Ash Wednesday and all the Fridays of Lent. Some people want to add more, say they want to fast on Wednesday. That is what you call a devotional fast. Some people want to add for 40 days instead of doing only Fridays. And whatever you choose, I just ask you, do not forget the basic of the church. Give the Catholic Church a big hand for this time. I heard people put it about to get confused about it. Say, Father, can I eat pork on Sunday? I will tell you this. You must make sure there is cassava in kachumba. It is not against the church to eat meat on other days. There are some people who will fast the whole week and then go to the bar with a bucket knife and pork on Friday. Your head is upside down. The church is asking you the Friday. The rest of the days, you may decide. And if you decide, that is your choice. You are not better than others. You have just decided to go on an extra mile. I let you know, for example, in my own company, including Radio Marie, I told the chef, you can go home on Friday. And everybody was looking at me. I said, we will have bread and water on Friday. If you want to eat something more, you can come out of the gates and buy your own food. That is our policy. It may be different for you. There are some congregations, like the missionaries of the poor, which I follow up to now, from Ash Wednesday up to Good Friday, we don't eat meat and we don't drink any alcohol for 40 days. That is the tradition. But I am not better than you. What is best? Give those who follow the church teaching a big hand. That is the best. What is devotional, what is personal, is between you and your God. In the Bible today, very clearly, in the book of, the, in, in the book of Deuteronomy, it is said, sorry, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, there are three effects of fasting in Aston. There are three effects of your arms giving in penance. Number one, everybody say reparation. Say it again. Reparation. 
The Bible said in Isaiah 58 that the ancient ruins, that the buildings that collapse shall be rebuilt again. And we become the repairer of the gap. When you fast and when you pray, you make a reparation. Do not waste your time. I know you are trying to eat one full meal and the rest you sacrifice. Some people are going for a dry fast. They don't even drink water. Some people will go for Daniel fast. They only eat vegetables and fruits. Whatever style you have, whatever decision you make, do not forget to make reparation. Everybody say reparation. Say for those who will fast because they committed so many sins this year. Those who have had bad habits that they want to kick off from last year. So for those who make wrong decisions that have affected other people, what are you going to do? Give yourself a big and you need to <laughs> If you are going to fast and you just want to get sick and eat, that is called diet, my dear. Diet. But if you add reparation to the sacrifice you make, you gain the kingdom of God. Isaiah 58 said yesterday, the righteousness of God shall go before you and give yourself a big and victory shall follow. Try to make a reparation either for yourself or for others. You notice me in counseling that whenever you are asking me, say, Father, I have a drunkard husband. My son started taking drugs. My daughter comes out in the night and come back drunk in the morning. I told her many times. I spoke to them many times. I know when I tell you, start fasting. Make a reparation for them. You will see. You will fill the gap. You will repair what is ruined. And give yourself a meal as the Lord shall bring back everything you ask for. Same by the people. Have taught us that the pain in his wounds was given to him by God to repair for the sins of others. In one point of his life, the brother who was assisting by the pain have found him trying to assess to control the bleeding of his wound. And the little brother has asked, Padre Pio, why is it bleeding too much today? Padre Pio said, Don't you remember what day is today? The brother looked up and said, Oh, yes, today is Friday. Padre Pio said, Every Friday, my wounds bleed, and I offer it to the worst sinner who will be coming today for confession. And Padre Pio give him a big hand. He has been the preparation for so many people. So many people. One morning, Padre Pio did not show, show up at Mass. And the brothers were worried he must have been dead. They had to break his door because the door was locked. And when they broke the door, they found Padre Pio tied by a strong metal that is used for the cart. The superior said, Padre Pio, what did you do to the cart? Padre Pio said, take me out here first. I have been tied by the devil for the whole night. Take me out now, now, now. He took six brothers. 
Six brothers like this one. To bend the metal to remove poverty. And as soon as Padre Pio came out, while they were still fixing the room, they realized Padre Pio is gone. They found Padre Pio seated in confession. The spirit ran to Padre Pio. I said, Pio, you didn't even have breakfast. You just run here, what happened to you? The devil told me that a big sinner is coming. That's why he punished me last night. I want to win that sinner. On that day, on that day, a very beautiful woman who is known to be an artist like she by nature came for confession. And the moment she came, Padre Pio came out and he started pinching his nose. He said, he's smelling hell here, he's smelling hell, he's smelling hell. The woman came out and said, do you know who I am? I am an artist. Padre Pio said, you kneel down. I have something to tell you because you are smelling bad. Padre Pio told the woman from the time she was nine years old until she started dancing in the theater. On that very day, the woman changed and she died as a spiritual daughter of St. Padre Pio. One day you will find Father Michael tied by the rope of the cow at the back. Because you are coming for confession. Everybody say reparation. I say I said.